We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro about how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified since so far we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom? When you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years. And they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They are just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are essentially slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night, always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Celantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. They're just entranced with him, with his ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us, in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna... 
Katya and Crest. Never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But Father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant. Be careful. The enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot. No matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well... What do you know? I do feel better now, after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. Alright, run along. Dad wanted something.
Thought we'd just go back and try it all again. We both know there's no way that I ever can Not okay Wish I didn't know how to feel, how to sound How it hurts to care Wish I wasn't transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here, this is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. And us? We had been living down there for so many years, fighting each other. 
And nobody even thought you could live outside. It's like living in a fairy tale. A prince has rescued his princess from a monster-infested dungeon and is taking her to his magic kingdom where they are going to live happily ever after. Do you think we're going to find that kingdom in the end? Though, if it's with you, I'll be fine anywhere. <coughs> live happily ever after is the most important part as far as I'm concerned. Leaving already? Well, go get them, tiger. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Uncle Tokarev has already set his shop up! Wanna go look? It's so cool! Here, Uncle Artyom! Ah, hi, Artyom! See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen, so thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get, so don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore. And he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none to expedient to fix it. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! Ah, what would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Well, sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so strict, you know. Hurra! And Uncle Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. <laughs> all right, look here. I'll show you once. Now we do this. Yes. Don't rush it here. Got that. Yes, yes. And now, this way. A oh, smoke break. That's good. <sighs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really, no, a child. But he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me and, and I... 
I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay the debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing, so much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Though no, you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course, it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you. That means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, Artyom, you seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. Don't rush it here. Got that. So you're back. What other plans does our leader have in store? Wait, don't tell me. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Well, the maestro is about to impress you. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father, he's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sini used to say it. 
So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here. Quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bomb to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there were lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there. Because Silentius, at the Skatina, had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> <sighs> it kind of got so glum in here. Hmm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing! I stop it already! <laughs> well, what did you expect? <laughs> so... What's up with your plate, hey, Arjun? The colonel was waiting for you on the bridge. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought, I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> Well, you, Duke, are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artem did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself. 
Well, he basically solved the whole problem. True that. Good job, Artyom. Yeah, you both did well. Crest also. <laughs> sure. He did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. You all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? A drink. You nailed it. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> Will you be joining us? Nah, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. Sure thing. Anyways, we will just have a little as a warm-up now. <laughs> Great! Ah, that's some good stuff. Uh, guys, there's something I've been thinking about. What does everyone expect of this trip? Personally, I want to come back and tell Sveta of my adventures. So that she'd look at me with her huge gray eyes without blinking and keep saying, You're such a hero, darling. <laughs> so you're expecting heroics and scars. That works. And why did you come? Well, my heart is aching for true romance. But in the Metro, all women want a solid relationship, a reliable husband, a real provider. <laughs> Enough of that smug smile. It's unbearable. Not that I've had much better luck here so far. As soon as Katia came aboard, Stepan started cooing around her like a peacock. <laughs> you should be happy. Katya is a tough girl. You'd be under her thumb in no time. <laughs> that is unlikely. I'm not the kind of man to upstage his friend in a contest for a lady. Especially when that friend promises to break my arm! I'll catch my stroke of luck soon enough. There in Yamantau, women from all over the country have already gathered, waiting for yours truly. <laughs> How about you, Demir? What made you go? Well, uh, at first I just went along with you guys, uh, the Colonel, but even then I thought, this is my chance to make my dream come true. A chance to see Kazakhstan, my people. But first, we must come back to Moscow, because it isn't fair. People must know that they've put up with enough. They are free. They can live outside now. What do you think about that, idiot? I'm with you, Demir. Yet, freedom is not so simple. There was this freedom fighter, Che Guevara. He died under 40. Comrade Mao, whose book you've been perusing on the other hand, was a strict ruler but lived a long life. Well, we should have expected that from you. <laughs> Weird thing, though, is that you are called idiot. <laughs> I know. It's by his own choice. Because he's so fond of Chekhov. <laughs> Chekhov, too, of course. But it's Dostoevsky for the most part, Sam, my friend. <laughs> sure. I read the book, too. It's just that I mix him up a lot. Chekhov wrote about that son of Austerlitz. A wounded officer. Powerful imagery. <laughs> you are just killing me. <laughs> How about you, Uncle Sam? Got dreams? You know, I just want to ride my board again. Spark a joint up on a beach. And catch that wave. Deep inside, under a grizzled metro dweller, there's still a relaxed Californian inside me. Ah, get out of here! <laughs> so you know, before Dad talked me into joining the Corps, I used to wear my hair long. He told me they'd make a decent citizen out of the total disappointment that I was, and sent me to college once I was discharged. 
I joined, and they sent me to the Middle East. Wow, so do you hope your guys would pick you up? I don't see them around. Yeah, I don't hold my breath for my guys. Once this mission's over, I'll submit my discharge papers. I'll reach the ocean, and there, find a ship maybe? Oh yeah, just imagine it. You arrive on that ship, and they go like, Ah, the Russians are coming! <laughs> <laughs> you are one of us now. You don't really need to go anywhere. If we don't put your Ushanka on, they will sink you on sight! <laughs> I won't. Though I will take my balalaika with me. <laughs> balalaika! <laughs> well... Who has any expectations for our reception at Yamantau? Well, your expectations, Elyosh, are quite obvious, huh? Scantily clad junior officer ladies on the rolling the red carpet? Yeah, I'm a simple guy. How about you guys? Well, uh, I hope they will answer a few questions. For example, if there is not a single American within hundreds of miles from Moscow, save for our friend Samuel here, why stay on the ground? I'd put it a bit differently. Did you, dearest High Command gentlemen, know that we in Moscow had to spend 20 years on the ground? Huh, by all means, you can ask those while I'm enjoying my briefing with the junior officer ladies, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in the mood for a road trip. Oh, we got ourselves a true traveler here. Yeah, we will have to live and see. You are right. to Tokarev. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark? Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? A deputy chief of communications department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a Melnikov? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, we aren't a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6, Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K-6... Alpha, you say? As far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but 
I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited my hands are still shaking. Oh, the minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Uh, surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for a smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So, I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You were saying, it's all about results. Ah, yes. These soft-bellied attitudes must stop. The ends do justify the means. Well, I don't object. But not all ends can be called just. Exactly. And this is why. Why I have been waiting for a chance like this for ages. And now everything seems to be coming together. It's the government. Don't you understand? Oh, but of course. Hmm. You don't seem to uh, quite grasp the importance, which is unexpected, especially after the news you just heard. <clears throat> yes, well, I say there is a government. So what? We spent so many years apart, so why worry now? Ah, but don't you see? They probably knew nothing about us. With the sheer power of enemy strikes directed at Moscow, they never expected so many of us to survive! And now, now we... we get to... get to tell them Moscow still lives! And not only that, it also preserved a functioning civilization! Do you get that? All these years we were fighting a losing battle for mere survival, and now... And now we have a new goal! And what would that goal be? You don't get this, do you? The command center should have all of the command and control networks! All the intelligence! They should know where all the nukes hit! Have complete fallout maps! They have everything! Information rules the world! And Metro is chock full of people! Put two and two together, we could repopulate the country! And of course not at once. First we might have to take the country back. But we'll be doing this under the direction of a real government. People with all the necessary skills! And in the end, we will break out of the underground dead end we are in. Uh, it would be nice, sure. By the way, I meant to ask for some time now. How did you learn about the Yamantau bunker, Colonel? Oh, the information about the ARC project I have is beyond a doubt. I'm saying this as a GRU officer. I had colleagues working there, preparing evacuation plans. So I've been briefed into it officially. So, now we just have to get there. And we will. We will. The journey won't be easy, though. <laughs> we were never looking for an easy way. Yes, I've been thinking about that for a long time. The Central Industrial District, a priority target. Katya did confirm my suspicions. The tracks might have survived partially, but the state they're in now is most likely terrible. I think we'll have to fix sections of the track. I think our people can handle it. Besides, I'm sure there will be sidetracks. What do you think could have happened in the relatively intact territories in the meantime? That's a good question. Well, we are going to learn it pretty soon. Yes. Yes, that, that we will. Let us talk B 
business for a change. Namely, the engine status. All right. Is the pump in order now? Yes, we have fixed it. How much time will it take to refill the water tank from now on? Around three hours if we don't have to clean the filters. Do we have any spares, just in case? We do, but not the whole set. Just the rough one. Hmm, a shame. Have we got oil, at least? Oh, sure. We have enough to get to Vladivostok, if need be. <laughs> well, I doubt we'd have to go that far. But at least something is in abundance. The pipes? As I have told you already, it's high time for an overhaul. Christ and I did our best removing the line buildup, but... Uh... Well, we just can't afford that. Are you finished with all the checks? Looks like it. But uh, let's have another go, just in case. Yes, that can't hurt. How much time will it take to refill the water tank? Here's one of my favorites. Well, I'll go back to talking. So, what was it? The Colonel is always right, and we're just filling our heads with dumb ideas. To Metro, they will believe us? They, who live there, bury their folks there, feed their children with rat meat. I agree with Father when he says it was the only way to preserve civilization. But what do you think they will find easier to believe? That they'd be able to get out to the surface and live there like they once did? Or that they'd spend 20 years underground for nothing? Just because secrecy demanded they stay there. Just because they didn't have the fucking security clearance? I simply don't know, Artyom. I only know that even if we ever go back there, and it's a big if, I'm definitely not so staying. My home is here, somewhere, on the surface. Don't know where yet. And thank you, Artyom. No matter what Dad says, thank you for leading us outside. I'm sorry. Oh, Artyomich, another smoke break. Good. This uh, life thing. Pretty rough, huh? But you, you can't do anything about it. Now, you people in Moscow, you used to live underground. I guess that's why you all look kind of pale. <laughs> Quite different from my place. I hail from Kadui village. It's near uh, Cherepovets. You heard of it? Yeah, well, no wonder. Our place was the middle of nowhere before the war. There was no point spitting at us, much less resting bombs. So... It wasn't all that bad at the start. Oh, the townsfolk were joking that it was a good thing since their credit slates were all wiped clean. But when the nuclear winter came, they weren't as merry anymore. Didn't used to be that hot even before that, but now... Even the fucking thermometers froze. Though I wasn't really educated or anything, I'd always liked science, so I knew the winter would come. The moment the bombs started falling, I knew I had to move south before the snow got too thick. Fixed an old truck, hopped on, never looked back. Didn't even come close to the large cities. Moscow and such, they were the main targets, of course. 
The villages weren't much better off, though. There was awful shit going on. Atrocities of the kind you don't even want to recall. Yeah, at the time I was getting kind of unhinged myself. The first winter I spent alone in the lair like a bear. Took over a grocery shop's underground storage. Food kept well in that cold. And that cold lasted a few years, with frost bouts happening even in the summer. Man. Became impossible to survive alone, so later on I would try to find company for the winters. Some were good people, others were... Uh, Real assholes. As the years went by, the good people became more of a rarity, you know. And some really nasty animals started appearing, too. Near the areas bombed to rubble, the forest turned red. Always red. And there emerged those two-headed deer. Oh, they are real lookers. <laughs> and they eat, well, they're even worse than they look. There's this mutant nettle that grows on dead bodies and always moves like it's alive. Well, y you will know it when you see it. So, that nettle is what they eat. That's how the locals find it. When you see a deer, that means there's a body nearby. The deer just wait for the nettle to grow. Boy, does it grow fast. The locals dry it and smoke it. Oh, those smokes were the roughest I've ever had. <laughs> no wonder, really. <coughs> so, I basically ended up going all over the place, almost reached Astrakhan. The winters there were a bit better, but that place had problems of its own. I mean, <laughs> the local bandits have been capturing people running from the cold, Selling them further south. I had to run in with them, too. I had to present my truck to one asshole there. <laughs> so, soon I fixed this real car and started trading stuff, earning some cash, masquerading as a bandit not to stand out too much. But let me tell you, watching the things they did was... Uh, too tough. So... As soon as the sky cleared and winter receded, I decided to move east, since there's a lot of space there, not as many people. And on my way there, I got stopped by Silantius and his cult, and... That's how it goes, Pratucha. That's my story. Life sure is interesting. another. How did it go? Ha! Here goes. Around three hours if we don't have to clean the filters. Do we have any spares, just in case? <clears throat> well, hello, my brother in arms. Need a warm-up, huh? Well, by all means, be my guest. I've been thinking here, how did Silantius manage to fool his people so quickly and so thoroughly? Hmm? Charisma? Animal magnetism? Something in that faith of his? It is a well-known phenomenon, actually. As soon as hard times hit, people's ability to think rationally shuts down. When there's danger or lack of food, an animal wakes up inside any homo sapien. That animal usually safely dormant, rears its head again. And what does that animal need? Not much. A pack, a leader, some food, and an enemy. The animal does not respect complex categories. It prefers a simple black and white world with no shades of gray. This fact, by the way, was always appreciated by the powers that be. 
as soon as democracy seems to be leaning in a way they didn't like, bam, they start a war. Or go witch hunting. If you make people feel threatened, they immediately go looking for strong leader. They're even ready to eat less, only to alleviate the threat. Do you think Salantius, had he not introduced that fate of his, would have stayed in power for long? Of course not. Power needs ideology or religion. They are essentially the same thing. And usually, people don't even want to figure things out. They just want to get rid of anxiety born from the complete and utter purposelessness of their existence. They also want an easily understandable goal, which they could single-mindedly pursue all their lives to take their minds off thoughts of impending death. People are simple creatures. Are you familiar with the philosophical concept of Wu Wei? It's effortless action from Taoism. We do well to adopt it. Of course, it doesn't mean we shouldn't make any effort at all. Giving people a hand, doing a good deed is never bad. But changing the world order in accordance to our subjective morality? Are we gods or what? See, we had this operative hunter. Although a Kantian, even though he probably didn't know it himself, he did put one thing right. The job of macrophage is to fight threats. But that's what we did back home. And when we fight, from the locals' point of view, we strangers are such a threat. And shouldn't be surprised when we catch the attention of their macrophages. I might be overthinking this, of course. Sometimes the simplest solution really is the best. Sometimes. So, anyway, next time, of course, do your thing. But remember that I warned you. <laughs> Tired already? <laughs> Try doing it for a day. <laughs> All right, give me the shovel and watch it fly. We do, but not the whole set, just the rough one. Is the pump in order now? Yes, we have fixed it. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. What's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. Over, Carol. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! 
passengers, get inside and bottle up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? <laughs> Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A <laughs> wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. Take the Aurora back to the safe zone, and sit tight there! We know that, right now! Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sorry, yes, sir! Great! Let's go! Damn, we've been pounding this place. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Good. Mira, over and out. Look at all those cars. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Oh, no, 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 this is a bad place, now we shouldn't have come here, really. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee and red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Поехали. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? We're expecting. Never like going on the ground, but this place, well, this is completely creeping me up. Why is it so deserted here? No gun emplacements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. What are the maintenance people thinking, I wonder? Yeah, this place could use some cleaning, at the very least. Sam, idiot! You know what? No need for us all to crowd the government. So you two better stay with Crest. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Your accent is what's spooky here. 
Well, if push comes to shove, you'll have to pretend to be a mute hero. <laughs> Look, Sam. The locks here are just like a D6. I can open them with a the nail. The whole thing looks a lot like D6. No imagination. <laughs> Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the Minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case! I pulled an all-nighter! <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing! Comrade Minister! Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundiced like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of hers. Untie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! You scoundrels! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done. <laughs> 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 
with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you right. Burn this skull to ashes. A long time so since food of life. Now we'll be full again. Good. Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir, I think that's Thank enough. You, son. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna! I'm sorry, I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot, start the main elevator up! D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Your floor, Artyom!
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just freeze! Yes, yes! The, Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Father, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Let's go! Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damned fanatics. But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. These! All right, but what do we do Only now? damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs, all the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian 1, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision Colonel, together. Sir, it's getting quite hot in here. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. 
All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is a lot to me with that guy over there. I've grown attached to him. <laughs> that I understand. is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. Oh, to think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good, but how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel around the <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? 
Sound the horn, then. <laughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that, too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, do. get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but... Really slowly, and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight, and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high-temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. <laughs> Why didn't you say so before? Because you never asked. Is the injection system in working order? I would need to check it. Well, take rest and run the checks. Oh yeah, we'll take care of your chick chuck, no problem. But uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm. Judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. Uh, what about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. Now, where is that bunker, I wonder? Artyom, abandoned village, building with an antenna. Check who went there. We'll be waiting for an update from you.
All right, let's go check those fuel sprinklers now. I bet they all need cleaning or something. Let's go. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning. Damn, the sun is having a ball today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You, get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up, and then we'll bring Stepan. It's cooler than in the train. Your word is law, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> commence! Okay, I'll be off then. Alyosha's trying too hard. Is he overheating? Too much sun, perhaps? We're all overheating here. I'll relieve him once we get step on here. Yeah, we'll handle that. Well, I'm off too. Artyom, we can handle it here. Are you going out? Look here then. This is something I finished just now. Ah, hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now ah, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all the sand around. Artyom! <coughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. I think I could use a little walk right now. Stopa, you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kinda under the weather now. Maybe next time. You're right. Artyom and Demir are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you should rest now. Yes. You're right, Katya. How is Stepan doing? He's got a sunstroke, and he's dehydrated to boot. We should let him rest in a cool place. The boys are checking the station building now. We'll put him there once they're done. Oh, I hope they finish soon.
Do you see that building with the antenna? The car went that way. Be careful out there, though. We don't know what to expect from the locals.
Stay coming here. I surrender! Out? No? Come out then! <laughs> so, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. <laughs> in my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. <laughs> Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. <laughs> While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
Nice day, huh? Yes, this map is outdated. No wonder. Ah, a pity the sea is all dried up. Ooh, I'd go for a dip. How about you? Have you ever seen the sea, Artyom? I have once. Before the war. Mind you, I was only three back then, so I don't remember a thing. It must have been beautiful. Passing through the desert, we noticed the car tailing the Aurora. The colonel gave the order to stop and sent me and Demir to recon the area. On my way to the goal, I had to hide from a sandstorm in the ruins of a restaurant, where I was attacked by one of the local bandits. In the ensuing fight, I had to knock him out. The poor bastard will have a hell of a headache when he wakes up. I also took his car, so we can't really expect a warm welcome from his buddies, whoever they might be. My next goal is a lighthouse in the desert, near which Damir spotted some antennas. I hope that's where the satellite communication center is, with the maps we're looking for.
were playing some dangerous games, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. When we opened this thing, I thought it was a fuck-up of our lives. To chance in a pre-war container, only to find fucking toys. We'd never hear the end of it. Yes, even the good guys get lucky sometimes. Just you look at these babies. Pristine. Even though they spent so long here. I'm just like <sighs> passing out here. Well, that's no good.
such good cable. Can't hack at all. Strong cable. It's too hard to hack. Mister, say hack. Slave, take axe and hack. Long time hack. Until morning hack. Who is Mirza? Yes, strange Mirza. Don't know Mirza at all. New Mirza, bad news. Old Mirza, bad news too. Real bad. Old Mirza, real bad news. At all bad. Mirza, see Mirza, I work real good. I work real good, Mirza, real good. Make Holy Flame happy, real happy. Maybe Master Gordis might do work and let me find you. Who are you, Mirza? I, I know not you at all. You come check on us, yes? From Baron come from Tower, yes? Forgive me, Ursa. I stupid slave. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Master up there, yes. Master, no. Oh, yes. <sighs> Why you are? What here do? Who let? Master, no expect you. Go away. No go there, old lady. You can't. Holy flame will punish. Why, master, not make me warrior? I want kill and me want glory. Not waste time over here. Ah. You know, listen. Do how you want. Master go teach you. He will, yes! Steal or what? Nah, Delon just got properly drunk, and when he's like that, he gets that way. Unpredictable. Last week, he beat a slave to death, 
And when he sobered up, couldn't he remember why? Enemy come here. <laughs> I killed that enemy. Damn. He must have noticed He's me. dumb. Come great well, kill watch so that he don't get hurt. <laughs>
Just making that noise. Master, no laugh now. Flame will punish you. Flame always punish he who hurt the master.
us. Should we help her, she'll help us find the communication center. We can't let the opportunity go. I say, we help, but stay alert. Get to it. Miller, over and out.
On my way to the lighthouse, I got a message from the colonel. A lady named Gyul got in contact with us and offered to show the way into the communication center if we help her fight off the local bandits besieging her home. Looks like we won't be able to stay out of local conflicts after all. We're too close to our goal to miss such a chance. So I'm on my way to save that damsel in distress. Who the fuck just made that noise over there? Fuck. I gotta go check on this. Oh shit, how long do I have to stay out here for? I'm fucking starved. I don't like it here. I don't like it here one bit.
This place good. Very good for rest. Good. No move, no move at all, or hurt much. I just can't anymore. Feeling weak. Master, no die! Master! Checking every corner. And we could blow up here like nobody's business. Plus, all the traps seem sprung already, anyways. This spot just sucks. Ugh, it risks the search for anything, but this time I just have to demand a different post.
bitch! You can't kill us all, whore! Even if only one of us remains, we'll still get you! Don't stand around! Move! Charge! Put pressure on her! That bitch! She killed our boys like it's nothing, but doesn't kill the slaves! What did you expect? She's the same as them! Are you afraid to come yourself? So you send your dogs? Uh, you all need those words! Give me cover! I'll smoke her out of her hole! We'll see about that! Come here now! Yes! Come here! This is for you! Fucking bitch! You'll pay for that! Oh, that Baron will rip your bars for that! Baron is Baron that! You only talk about your Baron! Why is the Baron not here? I think the Baron is too clever to come here himself! So he sends you, the stupid pigs, to die here! And you all came here to die like stupid pigs! The Baron could have promised you a ring if you kill me! Promise you your own slaves, whores, drinks! Didn't he? But you'll only get a bullet in the head each! Nothing more! And I'll get that Baron later! I'll strangle that lame dog in his lair! That bitch! How the fuck are we supposed to get her if she's up there? We should have packed some explosives. One boom and she'd be history. the dust here for nothing. There's no way to get her. <laughs> I'll tear the bitch apart. Cut her into pieces. I just need to get her. She'll get us all here, that bitch! She'll get us all! Shit! Who the fuck are you? Ha! I have health now! We'll kill you all any moment now! Man, no! Where is your Baron? He's not here yet! Team. Is everything quiet? Are they all dead? Come up here then!
You killed my enemies, so I think you're a friend. Doors blocked. Wait till I lower the lift. I kill you now! Ah, such dirty pig! Huh? You enemy? Shaitan bitch! Oh, I was harsh! I hurts like Shaitan! Your dirty daughter of fucking pig! Are you Artyom? Come in. Whoever kills the Munai by Lair is my friend. The Munai by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death. Read you loud and clear. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead, but why are you here? For five years nobody would come here save for Munai by Lair. Kill. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. I will help. Artyom, you have to find the archive. We should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Mir will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we'd better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have choice.
Ready? No? Make haste then, we don't have much time. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. That damsel in distress turned out to be more than able to stand up for herself. It turns out Gyul is one of the last locals still taking the fight to the bandits. And that's why they came for her. Once we had taken the bandits out, she promised to show me the way into the underground bunker of the communication center. Gyul told me that her mother used to work there and that the center was still operational for some time after the war had finished, compiling the fallout maps. This is just what we need. Time for a dungeon crawl. long gone. We need to turn it on to open the gate. The door won't open till we get the power on. Turn the electricity on. There. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going. If you see Mom's picture, bring it. I 
I'll be thankful to you as long as I live.
I hope you can hear me. I'm here too. You nearly shot me, thought I was an enemy. <laughs> Attention! Ventilation system failure. Prepare individual equipment and remain at your stations. Await for further instructions. <laughs> Did you hear that, Artyom? Without a pedal. The cracks on the lower level that last earthquake opened are now seeping gas, and that gas is toxic if I know anything. The ventilation is so far keeping it at bay, but what if the power shuts off again? Or we get another tremor and the cracks open wider? I told the chief, but he's just pulling his usual sit on your ass in your office, drink and twiddle your thumbs trick. Oh, don't panic and strictly observe Directive 01 like a broken record. I don't even know what to do anymore.
Just finished moving into the old lighthouse. Staying with Kuehl in that hole any longer is out of question. New gas geysers keep sprouting daily. The whole bunker could collapse any moment now. There's nothing to hope for. Nobody knows why we are even here anymore. We certainly can't do any work. I only go down there for the pittance that passes for rations nowadays. I'd like to believe that it's safer on the surface, but who am I trying to fool? The people are famished. Every day brings news of new attacks and murders, ever more violent. All my thoughts are with Kuro now. I can't believe this nightmare is the world she's going to live in from now on.
Now, when we finally have the data on all of the largest city agglomerations, it is obvious that our hopes to find one that had somehow been spared attack were unfounded. Moscow was superbly hit especially hard. The new data confirms that fallout makes it completely impossible to live there. Only Novosibirsk might be marginally worse, where- Mommy, look at what I drew! Oh, uh, who is this? It's me, I drew this. Look. That's a great picture. Senior researcher Kakimova, please, take the child outside. This is a briefing, after all. Come, you. You can't come in here. Come. Show me the picture, Elsa. While we're waiting, I suggest we take a look at the enemy territory. Here and here. This is, obviously, city lights. If not for Directive 01, if we had any means of communication, we'd have to report the coordinates immediately as a target for the follow-up strikes. Job. Come here! Power's failing! We'll be in the dark again soon! Shaitan! Artyom! Gul! Let's get out of here! They won't jump us with lights still on! Go, go, go! Well, 
We have the maps, so we had to take them back to the Colonel. By the way, I, I brought your car. It's at the dock. It's amazing the lift still works with all the cracks in the bunker. Mother told me they had to repair many times, and other things too. Me. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. You people are lucky. Most of the Munai Baile are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now... We have a chance to change things. Ah, Munai Bailer translates to something like oil-rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea. To port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. I'll stay and try to find out more about these oil drillers. We'll contact the base as soon as I get any useful information. Tell me, Gul, how did this Baron come to power here? My people chose their fate themselves. What? Become slaves of their own will? Yes, they did. The Moon Knight by Lair told them they'd protect in exchange for their work, and they agreed. The Munai Bailer told them to worship the Holy Flame, and they agreed again. Hmm, <laughs> well, they did not have much choice then. They had a choice. To fight. To fight and die, but not be slaves. Not everybody is ready for that. One must be ready. I'm always ready. And that is why you fight alone. Even alone, I can get the Baron. Suppose you do get him. What next? I'll think of what to do once the Baron lies dead. Makes sense, I guess. You go, Artyom. Good luck to you. Well, see ya, Artyom. Good luck. You Goodbye, should go, Artyom. Artyom. We'll talk later. I managed to get the maps, the thing that we came to this godforsaken place for. The thing that may give us a new goal and a hope for the future. After the dark, claustrophobic bunker, the vastness of desert seems to embody freedom. I must deliver the maps to the Aurora, but I don't think anyone will mind if I take a few detours along the way. This desert seems to hold many secrets worth uncovering. Such a long time since I had such a laugh. <laughs> but that 
isn't even off. This clown wants our water, fuel, and right of passage. <laughs> He's a reasonable man, ain't he? Oh, oh, and in return, the Supreme Command is sure to reward us later. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I heard such bullshit, people. I don't know who is this colonel and who told him we are all complete morons here. But we cannot really let this slide. So, here's what we are going to do. Whoever brings a live train gang member to me will be rich. I'm just so curious to see a guest from Moscow. <laughs> As you were, everyone. The Baron has spoken.
Look, he's waking up. Mm. Hey, don't get all tense here. If we wanted you dead, you'd wake up dead already. No two ways about that, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah! So don't you worry, pal. Sal wants to make you offer, so listen. <laughs> so, here we meet again. Did you forget how you knocked me out back then? I sure remember. My head still hurts, you see? <laughs> I also remember that you didn't kill me when you could. So here you go. Eight bullets in the cylinder, you see. Cost me two tons of water, so be gentle with it. But that was just foreplay. Time for business. I figure you'd want to know why I rushed you then. Do you know our Baron? Well, I basically had him on a plate already, you see? Hmm. I spent five years sucking up to him and roughing up the damn locals for him. I even got his custom van for that service. Ah, don't sweat it. <laughs> you can keep it. I have more than one car. So, to cut to the chase, I almost lost that crazy witch on his ass. She was supposed to whack him, and I had all the preparations in place. Rast, Vach, Tiri, Tamki, you see? And that's the moment you guys choose to arrive at. Train and all. The Baron, with his paranoia, immediately decides that you are a new gang from the West. How to get him specifically. And all my planning goes to the shitter. Lock all the doors, triple the guards, the whole shebang. That girl lost any chance of getting close enough to him. But now I think this might even be for the better. <laughs> Besides, you just helped that girl out at the lighthouse and freed the slaves from the ship dismantling operation. Don't worry, we caught most of them by now. <laughs> but still, that was a good distraction. Now the Baron is sure you're targeting his business too. In any case, I'll be frank. Neither you nor I are interested in Baron staying alive, so I say, whack him for good. You seem to be up to the task. I can still feel the thrashing you gave me. <laughs> Consider the gun and the car in advance payment. If you do take Baron out, I'll make sure none of the boys take chasing you too seriously. Then we'll be even. If you fuck up, no skin off my back either. I'll just save the Baron from the evil gang out to get him. And he'll crown me by his own hand. <laughs> so, think about it. You still have time. Ha! <laughs> Holy flame! <laughs> That's neat. The slaves would be impressed. I should have one of these made for myself. One thing I must give the Baron is that he had a capital idea with making this cult of the Holy Flame up for the slaves. At first they were in an uproar, hiding in caves, drawing dumb pictures on rocks to spite us. But once we got serious about pushing that shit, they caved in and now you can't stop them from praying at every torch they see. <laughs> Even some of our boys are getting into it. No wonder, with such devotion on constant display. <laughs> Come on, quit showing off! Leaving already.
leaving already. Leaving already.
happened so fast. We didn't even have time to abort and load. Storm wasn't even that strong at first, but uh, you know, then it picked up. Boy, did it pick up. We started adding more mooring lines, but then the gangway got torn off. It kinda died down by the morning, but the comms were off. And then while we were running about, looking at the damage, the water kinda ebbed down, sandbanks all over the place. Well, as soon as we cast away, we ran aground. Big time. Tried freeing ourselves and got gouged on the rocks. Badly. The only good thing was that there was not enough water left to sink in. And the combs were still off, and it wouldn't be much use anyways. No tug could get us out now. Looks like we're all alone here. And there's more oil spilled around us than water now. Uh, there's nothing on the air. Nothing to listen to. Oh, fuck! Don't, don't shoot! Don't shoot, man! Wait a minute. Are you one of the newcomers? The ones with the train? But I've been damned! Hey, hey, come on in! Make yourself at home, brother! I don't get many guests with all the spiders around. They packed the horde full of the Baron's flunky's bones already. Oh, you must be real lucky to have gotten here in one piece. When I had to run from the gang, I hid here and spent ages watching the damn critters. I thought I was a goner, but it turned out they were afraid of light, so I settled here for good. Now I make my living by collecting the guns and gear from the idiots the spiders catch, and they don't mind. And in my free time, I just scan the radio, so I know pretty much everything that's going on around these parts. These bandits blabber about everything on air. Then again, there's nobody to eavesdrop. Slaves don't have radios. So, as soon as they noticed your train, the Baron got all his people running around in circles. He, he thinks you're here to take him out. <laughs> now... You tell me if that Baron is all right upstairs. Certainly looks completely insane to me. A classic case of persecution complex and the delusions of grandeur. Say someone did come to take him out. Real classy, like driving a, a fucking train. Fine, let's give him that. But why would they stop at the old station then, eh? They could stop the train right at the castle gate and have at him. But... Logical thinking is not among Baron's faults. He's too grand for that now, <laughs> Which will turn out to be his undoing in the end, I think. I will say, though, that if you really do take that Baron bastard out, the whole desert will be kissing your footprints until the end of days. Not to mention my personal thanks. <laughs> Well, I've been ranting for too long. <laughs> Have some rest. Use the workbench if you like. In general, make yourself home, as I said. <laughs> I'll uh, stay on the radio in the meantime. You gave some bandit asses a kicking at the lighthouse, didn't you, eh? Well deserved and timely. Gule was a menace for the Baron since forever. She spent years inciting the locals to rebel against him. But now, since there are basically no free locals left, I would have gone easy on the troublemaking were I in her shoes. But she didn't, so they finally found her base. Only to have you rain on Baron's parade, eh? <laughs> yeah, so he wasn't cautious of you for nothing after all. I heard the bandits chat on air. Someone paid a visit to the Baron's metal salvage. His grunts are in an uproar. They say there was a whole gang. Something tells me, though, that it was the work of one man. Maybe even someone I know. <laughs> I have no idea what you would want from that place, but the fun was worth it. <laughs> Thanks for the giggles. 
<laughs> the, the idiots must still be running around looking for the attacking gang. Keep going like this. Just gauge your risks before you act. If the bastards shoot you, I'd be bored to death. There's this radio chat I eavesdropped on here. Sol's van got stolen. And that guy is not your average mook. So he had the car for a reason. Baron's compliments. In fact, for loyal service. And the Baron does not give presents like they're nothing. You got to have authority to be worthy. Thus, everybody knows who's to blame. The newcomers. They're definitely going for the Baron. For some reason, though, they decided to start with Saul. <laughs> so, uh, what I wanted to say is, if you happen to have this car now, watch out. All the bandits know it, and will open fire as soon as they see you driving it. You won't even try asking first. Personally, I think that Saul got his just desserts here. He's as much of a bastard as the Baron is. Just more of a loser. <laughs> yes. Well, brother, I won't bore you anymore for some time. Have some rest, and I'll just stay on the radio. Oh, that's one mean lighter you've got there, brother. <laughs> Had there been any slaves around, they'd be on their knees now, praising the holy flame. <laughs> Careful with that fire. I don't want this place to go up in flames. <laughs> Look, man, stop clicking that thing. It's getting really old already. Thanks for hiding again. There really is nothing to shoot here. Nothing but static.
up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. All right. I have a few words on the canyon near the spring where the stray tribals attacked our boys. Ivan, is my word nothing more than an ass white to you? It was good that the slaves used to multiply there without us lifting a finger. But you should have harvested before they went rabid. And what do we have now? Tribals attacking the gods of fire! And that means extermination! My word. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. Down, will ya? Come, I'll show you some things. <coughs> this dust will be the end of me. Look at my lair here. Didn't have such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. I see you got the maps. You and Demir did a great job there. <coughs> I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. Damn, I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon. If you're going to the port, there's a convenient zipline on the roof. Be careful out there, all right?
on inside. I see. A full time kid. Guard? Artyom, I have the mirror on the line here. So take a seat. I'll be with you soon. What a storm! Made of sand, no less! Ah, oh, damn the sand to hell! It's Uncle Artyom. Go back to sleep, darling. Copy that! Uncle Artyom? I wanted to ask him. Shh! Didn't read! Repeat! Uncle Artyom has to talk to the corner first. <sighs> okay, Mom. Copy that. Artyom, it's Dragoy. Have a seat, no? We left some water for you. It became quite scarce lately. Didn't read. Repeat. Hi, Artyom. See how anxious Nasya was for your return? I told her you went to get the maps so that we'd know where to go next. Copy that. Did you find them? Great. Sit near the Cornell and tell us more. We've all been anxious, really. Got it. All right, Miller, over and out. You got them? Great job, Artyom. Great news. Artyom got the maps. Well done, Great. Artyom. That is such a relief. Idiot, get started with these. I'll join you later. Here, there's a lot Have of a data. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron, but his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He'll told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror recounted to the place and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Artyom, when you're ready, go rendezvous with Damir. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? The storm seems to be over. I'll go back to the post. Perfect. Artyom, come here. You can go wild there! Our situation is critical! A few more days, and we won't be able to fight off a pack of wild dogs, much less the bandits. What have you got, idiot? What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. They even have the radiation level dynamics here. When is it from? Hmm. Yeah, a bit old. Well, let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Which maps have we got? Central Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals, the European part of the country. Aha, I see. Yeah. No Far East. Weird. I see two options here. Either the Far East was out of the satellite center area... Or... Or somebody snatched all the maps of the East before us. If that is the case, they still left plenty for us. Where should we look, Colonel Sir? I'd forget about the large cities. They were priority targets. Still, going for the deepest end of nowhere isn't too attractive either. But this place seems clean. Ah, no wonder. It's just a step. What if we go north? North, uh... No good. See? There's a lot of fallout here. Should have gone milder after 20 years, but... I still wouldn't advise a prolonged stay there. Yeah. This is going to take a while. Check this railroad out. It's most probably the one we're going to use to get out of here. Yes, it does look like the only way out for us now. And that is why we should study it in as much detail as we can. 
what if we take this fork? A lake, a river? Radiation's not too high either. Hmm. Seems promising. This place is somewhat unusual, though. Yes. A large spot to the north. But the place itself looks clear. There is also some intact infrastructure. In any case, we should study our options. Uh, are we not even going to consider other countries? Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan? Yeah, right. Throw New Zealand in there for a good measure. <laughs> it's not on the maps, by the way. We are lucky that most of the local bandits went raiding a while back. Otherwise, they sure would have come knocking at our door by now. Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. The workbench is at your service. Yeah, so, did you try the new ammo out? Should work great with all this oil around. I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them. Hmm? <laughs> I'm feeling kinda under the weather. Not my best day ever. And I'm not doing that poorly, all things considered. I think we can last another couple of days like this. Maybe. We need water. We really do. Oh, that's about it. to see the guys. I'm totally powerless here and it hurts. Stepan could never handle hot weather, but here without water, he never even said a word until he collapsed. Alyosha and Duke are down too. They just need some water and I can't help them at all. Sure, everybody has it tough now, but just looking at them is painful. Try to think of something, will you, Artyom? Please. Grandpa Yermak, don't you have any water left at all? Why, where would I keep any? In your untouchable reserve, of course. Ha <laughs> ha, I don't have any. I don't even have a canteen. I never needed it before. Wait till lunch, then we'll all get some, huh? I wish I had a canteen. Then I'd share some water with you now. Thank you, darling. Uncle Artyom, maybe you have an extra canteen? I would like one very much. Uncle Artyom, is this for me? Wow, thank you! Look, Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Well, now we'll have to ask for some water. Then you'll have your own untouchable reserve. Wow, thank you! Mom, Uncle Artyom just gave me a canteen. Hello, Artyom. Any news about the water? As you can see, I, I've been trying to condense some, but with no coolant, I got less than a liter out of it. I wish it would rain, but that's highly unlikely here. Is 
Sam, how is that dinner doing? Be ready in half an hour, sir. Good. Uh, so, what do you think of our situation, Artyom? Not so good, huh? Now, besides, we had guests to gave them our best welcome, naturally. The beast ran straight into Stepan with his mint grinder, and he just minced them. We rushed out, but only saw the bodies. One of the bodies, blood, was Stepan's. Now, at first, I thought the bastards got him. Nah, he didn't even have a scratch on him. It was a freaking heat stroke. He's down in the station building now, resting. The rest of the guys are not in a great shape either, so... If those oil bandits decide to put real pressure on us... We are screwed. And they may just do that, because I think that guild lady is trying to use us as a piece in her own game, blet. Having us take those bandits out would play right into her hand. Though, if we are all out from dehydration by the time they arrive, that plan will backfire big time. The colonel ordered that water is to be only given to the sick, and those on patrol doesn't drink at all himself. <sighs> so, he's cooped up inside, and there is no getting him out. He says he's too weak, it might hurt the morale if people see him like that, you know? As if the morale could get any worse with no water at all. <laughs> it got so bad, Yermak decided to try and condense some from the air. It's goddamn desert, blin. So this is the situation. We need water and fuel, badly. And we need a hell of a lot of both. With Aurora turning over two tons of water into steam per hour, her appetite for fuel is also nothing to sneeze at. We're up a shit creek here and we'd better find a paddle soon, you know? Or else we ain't gonna come out smelling like fucking roses. Well, that's my take on the things, at least. I delivered the maps to the base. Decoding them will take time, so it's too early to choose our next destination yet. Besides, we have more pressing issues right now. Most of the crew members are down due to heat and dehydration, and the Aurora needs a lot of fuel and water to move. The local kingpin, the Baron, has it all, but he's none too eager to share. Considering our desperate situation and our past experience negotiating with the bandits, the Colonel decided to take what we need by force. Damir is already out scouting their main water source, where we can steal a full Bowser truck from. I am supposed to meet him near the location. Obey us. Is it because they fear us? It partly is. 
But fear before man is not absolute. When your life is so shitty you've got nothing to lose, you start having rebellious thoughts, even if you are the lowest of the tribals. And can we have that, gentlemen? No! We cannot have that. That is exactly why tribals must have faith. Faith in the supreme forces, making the world what it is. Making a master a master. And a slave a slave. Not a man with a gun. The desert, the universe itself has created this world order and guards it. Power that is supported by bayonets, and bayonets only, will inevitably end up on the same bayonets. But the power supported by bayonets and faith is eternal. This is what you have to always keep in mind, gentlemen. Why, I always say, if you see a slave that does not worship the holy flame, kill him. It is a loss, but it will undoubtedly pay off. Remember, this is what the holy flame wants, what the universe wants. And I want to make sure that we have no more misunderstandings concerning this. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. Once again, nothing going on here. I hope you're having more fun than this. <coughs> Artyom, I'm trying to observe here, and you're in the way. See you.
Who'd even go here and what for? Would any tribals help their own? <laughs> Look, why don't we just off the fucker? Why do we go to all the trouble for a piece of shit? Ah, you just don't get it. You have to think what you do. That's where Baron is ten steps ahead of anyone. <laughs> so, what's the Baron's plan then? Ah, you'll just buy the fucker wholesale and have him keep the others in check. The fuck? Wouldn't be the first, you know? If we off him now, he becomes their martyr. But if we get him to dance to our tune, it's a totally different story and all his ill get a nice example. Get it now? Well, yeah, now I see it too. The Baron really is ahead. Extended you an offer you can't really afford to decline, <coughs> Capish. Uh, I know offers you dogs make. Hey, you better come down while we're fucking asking you nicely, or I'll drag you to the bells and a leash. Hey, you want to give me yours? You bark loud, but nothing else. Yeah, yeah, sit there all you want. I fucking warned you though. Garden for these gentlemen. Hey, they got a nice little place here, these fuckers. Yeah, they could have been working at the rig all this time. We're short on hands there. Yeah, a shame we had to go to town that time. So many slaves, totally wasted, huh? Well, the sons of bitches had it coming. Hey! Are you coming down or not? No, I like you much, very much. Go to hell! Well, stay put and get fucked for that if you wish. We can stand around forever like this! And you don't have any water, so come down! Eh, no fear about me, fear about you. So make your head hot, you get even dumber than now.
So you keep driving around looking at how we live. So how... How do you find it? You probably think that we are tyrants. Beasts, even. And you are some kind of hero, are you, huh? Liberating the oppressed with that you, the witch. But I see you are not a complete idiot. So you do understand, deep down. You do understand. There is no other way. Man is a beast. A beast! You just let a man run free, and it's a murder spree! Remove the restraint of power and law, and everything turns to the law of the jungle. It's always a bloodbath. A total bloodbath. There must be power. Must be law and order. Belief. Civilization. Don't you see? Because without law, without God, everything is permitted. When they bring a new slave in, he's a total savage. They live in fucking caves now. Forgot everything. What do they get? Life of a hungry ape. A bunch of sickly kids, and a death in a demon's stomach. That's it. I gave them purpose. They work. They serve. They build. They build a civilization. And you... You want to destroy it, you motherfucker. Destroy my civilization, you piece of shit. Fuck you. You get what I mean. Get that car while you can. I'm getting a drink. I'm here! Are you ready? How are the guys doing with no water? While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. Kuhl says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door.
Let's go! Well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. That's some noise! What's that, huh? Ah, shaitan! Stupid bats! Yeah, this place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady. Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance. Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. I met up with Damir at the entrance to the deserted cave town Gyul told him about. Now we must pass through the caves and find the tunnel leading to the water spring itself. Damir dreamt of finding something about his parents and relatives, seeing how his people lived. I'm afraid that what we are about to see will only disappoint him. Oh, wait! Artyom, masks on! 
So, the war really did put people back into the Stone Age. Cave, paintings and all. Ah, oh, they toughed it out here for some time. I wish we'd gotten here earlier. Damn! A cave-in! We're in luck though, there's still some space left. Oh, how many people lived here? Everything is built up. Uh, well, let's try walking around. Ah, damn! Hot! Wow, that's all of them. Well, let's continue. Oh, damn, how many of them are there? These are done for too. Now we cross the bridge and head right. Looks like we're almost out. Follow me! The passage to the spring! Let's go! Another cave in. My filter is almost done for. Look, light. Here. Well, the air seems all right. Masks off. Well, it's a crawl from here on. <sighs> Gil says the locals follow every word the oilmen say. So, let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent.
Look, water. See that car? I'll move the air and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck, and try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, all right? I not know you. I not tell anyone I saw you. Not tell. I say truth. I not tell anyone. I spit on the dogs and rub it in. Slit all their throat. But not the slaves. They are innocent. Innocent at all. Buckets go up. You go up with buckets. The dogs not see you this way at all. Shaitan. 
beat him. Then Shaitan say, no, Batu, what do you want? And Batu say, I want to drink very much. <laughs> what Shaitan say then? Shaitan say, you drink, dear friend, who will stop you? Why fight? <laughs> I want fast! And what then? Then Jimmy say, Let's run then, dear friend! <laughs> Nothing. 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 Nothing.
only water here. Without it, they're gonna be so weak after a couple of days. We'll cut them like chickens, huh? Pussy shit. Sure. Well, I gotta go. And you stay on the lookout for them newcomers. <laughs> what are you yeah. looking at? Huh? I could be Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. They can have all the excitement in the world. Tear me head off anyway, but I fool by then good. Quiet! Hear that now? Sen Kim Sin? Who you? What do here, Betanis? Then he steps at you, son. Dynastic, Meganiles, Menkaida Barik Belimin. Thank you, Betanis. Looks like Nazi comes back in Moscow, doesn't it? The bastards.
Well, that was a clean operation. You should have seen their mugs when I started the car. <sighs> well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. <laughs> Looks like they are giving chase. Time to get back to the Aurora. You tired? No wonder. All right, brother. Have some rest.
Hello, my friend. Totally radical job you did there. All this rejoicing over mere water. Must say, I love this taste of rust in the morning already, though. <laughs> Tastes like... Victory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, poor bastards. We crushed them completely. We showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... Hmm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Don't forget to check your gear and prepare before you set out. Maybe we could still negotiate with them. I tried that already. No dice. He takes women as payment. Artyom, we're fixing to leave already, but there's one thing that keeps nagging on me. Remember that dismantled ship I told you about? I can't stop thinking about the slaves they keep there. Do you think we could still free them? If not us, then who? <sighs> So tired of this dust. Can't wait to get out of here. Don't take dumb risks there. I need a live husband, not a dead hero. Camp. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the train Desert Bright Future will be leaving shortly. We're leaving soon. Take everything that can burn to the engine. Tokarev, tell me when you're done. I'll be at the bridge. Yes, sir. Uncle Artyom, Uncle Artyom. I drank so much water. It's slashing in my belly now. You drink some too. Grant Bayer Max says you can drink as much as you want now. We'll also have tea. Hi, Artyom! Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. You guys did great! Artyom, watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Uh, 
Oh, come on, it's Artyom we're talking about. He's made of steel. Just listen to him walk. But yeah, man, you'd better keep both your eyes open out there. The cavalry will be there in the nick of time, of course, but don't go taking unnecessary risks. Nastya? What are you doing here? Oh, I just came to take a look what happened here. Can't I see? Let's go back to the train, Nastya. Nothing to see here. Nothing? Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I swear. Hmm, alright. Artyom, the car's near the Aurora. Yermak, you sure the pipes will hold? Yeah, we'll have to run them through the whole carriage. They should. Our pumps aren't that good. Can't build much of a pressure, so I don't expect leaks. Some seepage at worst. Once we get far enough, we'll move the pipes to the roof and then replace them with proper metal ones. Well, you're on top of things, having so many spare parts, Blin. Even pipes. And you brought them from Moscow. Ha! <laughs> it never hurts to have more spares. Besides, I just knew they'd come in handy. Hansa supplied every sortie so well, we could build a second engine with the spares. Yeah, we could build a second one, but didn't have enough to fix the first at the Volga. Well, you can't foresee everything. <laughs> Colonel, sir, check complete. All attackers are confirmed dead. Got it. Our crest in your mech on the lookout for more guests. They are. All right. In that case, help the people break camp. We're moving out soon. Yes, sir. Artyom, Gul and I will soon be leaving, so you can take some rest, do a checkup on your gear, and catch up with us. We'll rendezvous at their base. You people are lucky. Most of the Monai Baile are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change things. We're still stuck in this desert until we get enough fuel. So while the others are preparing the Aurora for departure, me, Gyul and Demir must sneak into the oil terminal and steal a railway tank full of fuel. We must open the gate from the inside 
so that our guys could hook the tank to the rail car and roll it out before any of the Baron's men noticed them. Gul and Amir are going to be waiting for me near the terminal.
are becoming ever stronger. The old building's all but buried in sand. Looks like this place will become our grave after all. Our attempts at getting out proved useless as the terminal is destroyed, the lighthouse is silent, and the town is empty. The military at the base went off the rocker completely, opening fire at anyone who would approach. What's this? It's engines! Hey, come on! Outside! The help has arrived!
careful. That sniper doesn't seem to be an amateur. Position at the viaduct where some escaped slaves were hiding a couple of 
Fucking tired of this shit. <sighs> Look, what that piece of shit following us? Nah, it won't. As long as no dumb son of a bitch decides to touch anything. Pass me that 16 mil spammer. All right. What the hell? What the fuck is it? Ah, oh, fuck! I left him there. Well, I guess you'll have to go and fetch it then. Ah, uh, sure. It's my fault. I. This fucking heat. The bastards hardly move and we will be held responsible for not training them well. So, you think the payout this time will be worse than last year's? Fuck. We're not going to get five tons what of water the... for the whole lot. What the fuck? Fucking shit. So oh. Sido is gonna come back to oh, a brewing store? Like yeah, uh, we are yeah. fucked, I say. Why even bother? True. Should have gone raiding with the boys. Uh, well, there was a real chance to make it big. Now this. Yeah, this sucks. Hey, what was that, huh? Are you going out for a parade or something? <laughs> parade? Fuck you! Los says we all have to be ready for anything. There's a new gang around. Came in on a train or something. 
Ah, yeah. Just tell me where did you get all the swag? Swag? Check the rig boys out if you are in the market what the for hell swag. Do you like about this? He thing? sure wouldn't mind He's sharing right. in on that though. Well, the guy just don't know what he's talking <laughs> about. The rig. Yeah, you sure wouldn't mind, would you? Well, I'll go give those tribals a kick in the nutsack while you're busting your gut here. <laughs> those fuckers don't want to work for shit. Yeah, give them a good one. Smoking here. Ah, chill out. Who gives a fuck? Oh, I don't. But roast is going to take your water ration away. Yeah, as if he's got nothing better to do. Fucking relax. It's not that bad here, but it sure is fucking boring. Like, really, really boring. Well, am I getting my fucking food tonight or no? Yes, mister. One moment, master. Well, I've been smoking here for ages now. Move your ass! Yes, yes. Yes, mister. Okay, okay. Look, don't be so tense. Tell me, what did that guy from the rig want from you? Well, what do you fucking expect? Says we're not doing a good job teaching the slaves. Half of them croak in their first week on the rig. Same shit at the well. So he's cutting our water and diesel supply by half. <coughs> shit. Gotta cut down on that smoking. <coughs> Well, it's not that bad here, but it sure is fucking boring. Like, really, really boring.
the hell is so the Kraken? Driving around, I guess. When did I even give him a car? I don't remember. I shouldn't have. That man's an idiot, a complete cretin. That double sitting in my castle. Decoy in the castle while I'm here. How long do I have to rot here for? To hell with this plan. They'll take out the double, but the Baron will be fine. Well, why would you even let them? Why the hell did I agree to this plan? He's a cretin. Why did I listen? Don't remember. <laughs> they even paint portraits of that double, those cretins. And I must rot here. Damn you, soul. I can't take this anymore. I'll tell him. I'll give him a piece of my mind. Guards, as soon as Sol arrives, bring him to me. I want to see that cretin. Oh, so you brought him. Finally. Get lost now, you cretins. Hey, wait a minute. Who the hell is this? Ah, one of the newcomers. <laughs> All right, you may go. We have something to talk about. Well, young man, now we can talk with masks off, huh? I take you didn't expect to see me here, huh? <laughs> it's hardly surprising. Nobody would expect that. So, the cretin that he is, sometimes does show surprising creativity. I have to give him that. Destroying what remains of the resistance, getting rid of the witch and rooting out treason in one fell swoop. This plan has... grandeur. So that's why I'm sitting here. I don't even remember since how long. Looking at my property and listening to my double on the radio. Uh, that double has a way with the radio, I must say. Using him as a mere clay pigeon even seems like a waste. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> if anything, there's too many talents among my people. See this portrait? Does it even look like me? Of course it doesn't. The artist is a prime case of one talent too many. This cretin painted this off my double. Should have been a spitting image of me. But I don't even recognize this face. I can't remember where the painting came from either. No matter, though. Let's talk about something else. Guests and trains, for example. <laughs> oh, we've been waiting for you. We do have ears in the vest, just like you have... used to have here. Don't take it personal. But all of your spies had to burn for offending the Holy Flame. <laughs> a man's got to know his limitations, you see. I have a right to laugh at that bullshit because I invented it all. I don't remember when, though. But that don't matter. What matters is that even I keep the facade up when there's slaves around. And anyone so crass as to publicly, in public, offend the Holy Flame is an enemy. Is that clear? You people should learn subtlety. <laughs> then we might even cooperate. I doubt you were sent here for nothing, after all. Hmm? I've been watching your odyssey closely, and I must say... <laughs> but... Ah, yes. Was it you who stole our water, Bowser? No. Don't bother denying it. I know everything. Well, hey, no harm, no foul. The slaves will have to drink a bit less for some time. That's all. Do you really expect my double would even consider not topping up his swimming pool over that trifle? <laughs> Power must dazzle with extravagant displays of affluence. Even the comedian sitting on my throne understands this. 
All the slaves will have to die of thirst before the Baron cuts his morning shower time to half an hour. For such is the will of the Holy Flame. <laughs> the main lesson from this fiasco will be learned by the cretins that let you pull this heist off. And a Bowser is a minuscule price to pay. If that makes them to start treating the task of guarding the only source of fresh water in the area with due diligence. The lesson made even more convincing by the punishment you personally delivered to the culprits in question. I must say, <laughs> thank you for acting on my behalf. <laughs> Well, as far as I can see, you've been keeping busy. Subtlety not your strong suit, young man. Didn't you help that witch escape from the lighthouse? <laughs> oh, don't shy away from taking credit. It was all part of the plan. If not for you, she would have been rescued by Soul's men. Everything must look natural after all. Yule will kill the accursed Baron. The oppressed people will rebel. They will be headed by the new leaders of the Resistance. Yule will by right take the tyrant's place. Many of his old flunkies will swear allegiance to her. At that moment, she will discover that in addition to their freedom, the slaves will have gained hunger and thirst. <laughs> Ghoul knows nothing of the effort it takes to supply all my subjects with the barest of necessities. And when they, dying of hunger, with parched throats, start praying for the holy flame to save them, I will rise from the dead. <laughs> and I will be their salvation. Such is the will of the Holy Flame, young man. Such is the will of the universe. The Holy Flame. When did I get the idea, I wonder? It's a great idea, too. Ah, uh, eh, no matter, as long as I had it. Young man. I must say, you never disappoint me. Thank you for taking care of that checkpoint in the port. Now, regrettably, whenever an organization reaches a certain size threshold, it starts accumulating... ballast. Incompetent, mindless cretins incapable of taking care of one man with a whole team. In this light, your actions, young men, not only didn't harm my organization, but on the contrary, made it stronger by weeding out those garbage humans. I'm truly thankful. Well, as far as I can see, you've been keeping busy. Huh. Freeing the slaves, what a noble pursuit. Now, having had their fill of freedom in the desert, with no equipment or protection from mutants, the survivors will finally understand what it is they really need. A human is, essentially, a simple being with very basic needs. Some food and water, a modicum of protection from the desert of reality that surrounds us, and... But his most important purpose. Serving the will of the Holy Flame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to call it a day for now. So many things to take care of. Oh, look! It's a portable holy flame altar! <laughs> I'm glad to see you, young man. Paying respect to the greatness of my teaching. Fire was ever the object of worship. 
and as thanks for that, it went on to destroy mankind. Now, though, the worship of mystical essence of fire will help undo the damage. This is the will of the holy flame. <laughs> Uh, you know, young men, why don't we leave the religious attributes for the gullible slaves, huh? Ah, this is so childish. You know the magic of the holy flame does not affect me, huh? <laughs> Ah, ah! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Oh, so you came to gloat, huh? Get bent, you bastard! I remember! I remember it now! I'm the double! I'm not the Baron! I work for Saul! I was supposed to stand in for the Baron when Gul came for him! Look, what else do you want from me? Go away! Spare me! I'm not the Baron! Not the Baron! Bastards arrived here. So, where to? No idea. He's a sniper after all. Could be aiming at you right now. <laughs> By the way, Dima, give him a big smile and wave your hand. <laughs> sure. Some sniper he is. What the hell Can't even like discipline his own slave. Seems all right. That well, asshole the told me that his master has a good position set up in the port, somewhere high up, where Shit. he could stay this hidden is the and see piece. everything around. Gotta keep both eyes peeled all the time, and Even that's just exhausting. Even you can figure it out. There aren't that many places that fit the description. You didn't hear it from me, though. Ah, aha.
raising that lance that you saw. That fucker's asking for it. Come the fuck out! You came over to What are you taking us for? Didn't we fucking tell you, motherfucker? That all the shit here is ours. And you're dead if we catch you here again. Well, you fucking had it coming. Come out, you bitch! We'll open you up!
We're waiting for you! Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey. The Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Right about the locals. Here, this place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So a great? Well, let's do this. All right. I'll raise it, and you get through. <sighs> Great. See you up there. Let's go, Damir. Less blood, Artyom. Please. No use. Nobody go. Nobody fools. We stand here all day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slave, more use that way. You said right, completely, very right. Faster, fuck! You work or you go after dog! <laughs> Men I understand, dog not pity. They don't know what to do. They torture dog and laugh. Little dog can't grow, get eaten by other dog. Dog better than such Mirza. Such Mirza is dog himself. <laughs> ah, work, work all day when other slaves get to be warrior, get to Such fight nice for the No flame. trouble, no master shouting, praise the holy flame. Oh, shut up, you fuck! Shut up now! Don't let me sleep, you fuck! What the fuck? Tell shut up! I make a head from you, fuck! Down dogs, back! Only back! You could have, perhaps. Hat, Jossie. It makes me come quiet. Go down, 
Fuck you! Yes, Mirza, spare me! Also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered uh, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B then. Act accordingly. See, the, the cable, cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Put the gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Target 
Come on! We won't even touch you. Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we're as good as dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. Look. Look at that guy. He's the one from the train. Yep, that's him. Look at that gear. The Baron called him over. Wants to talk. Talk? What's there to talk with him about? The Baron called him over because he had a topic, I guess. Yes, the Baron knows best. The plan went south. When the Baron learned of our presence, he blocked the gate. And now, it can only be opened from atop the tower. Luckily, the Baron is not in a hurry to kill us. Quite the opposite. He invited me to come up to his penthouse, on the condition that I lower my gun. He has some kind of an offer. I really have no choice, but would still like to know what kind of trap I'm walking into. I'd ask you, but she just vanished. I guess I'll have to improvise. Damn, there's too many of them to count. Beggars, slaves, even some What women. the fuck are you saying? Baron's quarters are probably If I fucking hear uh, one more word house. about that That's bitch, kill! Get over here! Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. The boss hates stench. Don't you fucking catch it from him. Come on, why the fuck does it take so long? You could do it with your eyes closed, I know that! Will you stop bugging me? I'm making something for the boss here. So if you don't like something, take it up to him. He didn't have to cut in the line before you after all. <laughs> Well, look, I can't really live without my flamer. I'll get you some parts. You finish it in time for the raid, I'll give you half my loot. Deal? I'd rather have a woman. <laughs> Deal. Well, you just come back first thing in the morning then, and find me a young one, but with some meat on them bones. Ah, that's something new. <laughs> what do you want that horn for? <laughs> I thought you didn't swing that way. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, shut your fucking trap, you comedian. Just you wait till you come asking for something from me. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> All right, we're cool. Things continue going the way they are. Well, anyways, <sighs> see you tomorrow then. And don't forget, I want a good healthy one. Ha! You must be one of the train gang! I wish enemy come here. I kill that enemy. Make yeah, you guys came in at the right time. Great warrior. Kill all they don't take kindly to strangers in the best of days. And now, with all the shit you stirred up? <laughs> Well, put it this way. Be careful driving that thing around here. That baby won't let you down. I put her together with my own hands. <laughs> what, you didn't expect me to recognize her? <laughs> I can make any of my engines out a click away. Anyways, the car won't let you down, but one wrong step and... <sighs> you get what I mean. So you just run along. I got my hands full watching over these dumbasses here. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of wheels, I tell you. Of course, we only get to look at it. <sighs> Shit. Though you should fucking keep your mouth shut about that. You're one lucky guy, got promoted to internal guards right off the bat. 
We only get to look at it. Other slave get to be warrior. Get to oh, come on. I didn't mean it like that. Come on, what? You got to earn things. I spent 10 years without promotion here and I didn't say a fucking word. All right, all right. Simmer down. Fucking upstarts want everything just given to them on a silver platter. You fucking blind or what? Fix that shit! Kizik Milyev to do na bitch! And you bitches hold it well now! Very Kustabilia! I'll feed you to the dogs if you fuck up! Come on! Liven up now! Kusti Eterio Belia! You'll spend a fucking eternity here with you dumbasses if I let you have your way. What the fuck are you spacing out there? Look them out, Bilya! You just take a detour? See, there's some apes doing their stuff here. Let the animals evolve! They need it! <laughs> Well, you just fucking pull it! Put your back into it! Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? <gasps> fucking Take shit! before he sets us all on fire! <laughs> ha! That one sure got fired over his stupidity! Fuck me, are they dumb? Third one is weak, the brain-dead bastards. What the fuck am I going to call Costil now? I ran out of your tribals, give me some more? Fucking dumbasses, now I have to do an all-nighter. Dumb bitches. That's where the tribals are kept. <laughs> you wanna join them? Can arrange that. <laughs> Water, food, your every fucking need served. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, master. I'm your slave, was not on purpose. Shut up! I'll teach you how to serve now! I'm sorry, master! D don't teach, please! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> no kill, master, please! No kill, please! Master angry, but still master! If master dies, they kill me next! Mirza saved me! And master wakes up, won't remember what was! Thank you, Mirza! Like this. I remember Mirza all my life. Thank you, great Mirza. May the holy flame protect you, Mirza. Look, you go up that ladder. Past the headquarters, then past the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. Uh, I wish enemy come here. I kill that enemy. Make master notice me. Become great warrior. Come on! What's taking so long? Come over here already! <sighs> If things continue going the way they are, just you fucking look at that. Is going to be the whole shot in drink no master's water. Gotta give her a lesson. Forgive now. me, Uli Mirsa. I... You're a dog! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a dog! The water is for people! For the master! Do you get it? Make him slave work where enemy can come. We not have hey, master in you. fight at all. Get your ass over here! Yes, Uli Mursa. Throw this piece of shit out of here! Throw it away! Right now! Yes, yes, Uli Mursa. <laughs> oh, why do I always get the guard duty when the others are making all the fun assignments? Did you fucking see that, the fucking whore? I'm sure he's a bitch. Well, you got to fucking educate them or else they just get out of control. 
It's one of those new arrives. Why must come to meet the boss here? Why must some still work? They He's did dangerous. Dusty and the boys in, and now think the boss is gonna let them off the hook. Yeah, <laughs> keep on dreaming. He's gonna string them all up by their balls for that shit. Well, I bet Dusty went and tried mugging them. And the bastard had it coming on him Action. anyways. Action Gave me that scar. Hey, don't you fucking talk trash about Dusty here. Maybe Master know this. Oh, good sorry. Let me fight too. Please, but this guy is hot. So. I totally hope they can talk it out with the boss. Well, they might. Hold up. Shake that ass! I'm almost done. Is that Just even a little dance? bit left. I didn't sign you to stand around doing nothing. What's up with those eyes, by the way? Did you cry again? Come on, move it! So what if I did? What's the matter nothing. with you? Look alive! You just don't get how lucky you are, that's all. <whistles> Down there, you can only see the ceiling and still go hungry. And here, you just spread your legs a couple of times and enjoy like the rest of the day. Shake that ass! Yeah, in this heaven. But then you're Show the that you're alive! Yeah, years. come on! Oh yeah, she was so much better than anyone. That's the way you do it. Be stoned all the time and yeah. jump off the parapet when the boss grows bored of you. Hey, if you, you make our move. boss happy, he can be real good to you. He Shit ain't no scrooge. Chris took a full bag of bullets down with her. She now has her own shop, living like a damn queen and all. And you. If you keep that attitude, won't last a year here. We'll end up serving the footmen in no time. They'll whittle you down to nothing in a month or so. Come on, Come move it! what you have while it lasts. What's the matter with you? Look alive! <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah! Show that you're alive! Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Now find me after you talk to the Baron. I won't Come disappoint. On, you won't find a girl like me in any city. Is that even a dance? You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here! <laughs> Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your web. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. find it weird that I'm not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey.
I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? Your spell has come for you! You'll answer for everything! He locked it! From the other side! That coward! Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want a deal! Now you will all die! Starting with you, Gyor! Kill them! Artyom, get ready! We must kill these dogs! Doesn't he speak anymore? Artyom, I'll go in before that dog runs away. I'll catch him and open the door for you. Hold on. You went all out here, didn't you? Whoa! Oh, impressive! So, this is the plan Gyul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shove, Artyom! You wanted to create a new world with this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! I called her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. 
But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. <sighs> Let's go, Artyom. Thank you for helping my people. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> You're back, my love. I was so worried.